and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code and where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks or geeks within less than 5 minutes. Okay, so today's problem of the day is largest number formed from an array which is a medium level problem and uh, yeah let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do okay so we will be given two params first one will be int n and second one will be a string arr so n n will be basically the length of this arr string okay so what does this arr have arr will be having some strings but those strings will be numbers so numbers in the form of strings okay so these will be stored in this arr and we have to return a particular string by concatting these indexes these strings on the indexes such that the number which we return is maximum okay so it might be a bit tricky so let's understand it with the help of an example as well here you will see 3 then 3 0 then 3 4 then 5 then n. so i want to arrange these strings such that on concatenating it i get a maximum number okay so if i concat if i arrange this string such as 9 comes in the first index and after that 5 comes in the second index and then 34 comes and then 30 and then 3 comes and then 30 comes okay in this way if i will arrange this so it will basically result in maximum number okay and we have to return that maximum number okay i think the problem statement will be clear so how are we going to solve this let's take a very easy uh, test case i will take with two numbers only first one is 34 and second one is 30 so if you are given two numbers and you have to tell that you have to uh, concatenate them by arranging such that you get a maximum number so there are two ways to arrange them first way is 3430 this one and second one is 3034 okay so which one is greater you will see you will see that 3430 is greater 3430 is greater okay i think that's correct now this is what this is the whole logic which you have to apply here okay so what you can do is you will we will simply start and we will write a comparator functions in which i will get two strings and i will concatenate them and re return okay so that is the basic advantage of this uh, comparator function that we don't have to write it for all we can just write it for two pairs two numbers and it will be applied to whole array okay i think you guys are getting point so i will write a comparator function and after that we will just concatenate because look this is the this problem is basically main of writing the comparator function okay after that we just have to concatenate and return the string okay so i think the problem statement will be clear we will be getting two strings into the comparator function i will be concatenating them and will returning the for greater one and after that the second one so in this way if i will arrange and then called comparator function will do it for all the pairs okay and uh, yeah that will be it i guess okay all right so let's write the code for it I, because i think the problem approach will be clear now okay so what i will do is I will write something like arrays dot sort, and here I am going to sort arr, and uh, after that I will write a new comparator. I think everyone knows how to write comparators, and if you don't know, please you go and check this out. It's a very very important thing. Okay, one of the most important thing you want. You should not miss this. I'll write something like this. So here this is a new comparator interface. Okay, and here I am going to override the compare function. So I will write something like override public int I think if you know uh, this uh, interface thing so you know that we can override the methods so override methods compare and here i will be getting two strings as i told let's say string a comma string b okay now what i will do very simple as i told i will calculate two new strings let's say string a b by concatenating a plus b and second one b a by concatenating b plus a okay i think very very simple now what i told which one will be greater a b will be greater so a b will be at first and if b a will be greater b a will be at first okay now this is the logic we have to do we have to sort it in decreasing order i will say okay i think the decreasing order will be a correct word here as well so yeah uh, what i'm going to write is very simple return b a dot compared to a b okay and uh, after that this comes this is ending here and yeah after that just concatenate Mm, string builder sp equal to new string builder so you might be thinking why i am using string builder here i am using string builder because uh, strings are immutable so basically whenever i will be called catenating a new string will be formed every time which is a wave which will take a lot of memory and that's why i'm using string builder which uh, will take less memory and uh, we can uh, let's say it is mutable so we can change that and new string will not be formed okay that's why i'm using string builder here and if you don't know about the string builder, i will request you to please uh, read about it okay and uh, after that string str i will be getting from you can see some spelling mistakes so rt here uh, i will be getting from arr after it's getting sorted and i will simply do sb dot append str okay uh, very simple and after that we will simply return sb dot to string okay 
so yeah that is it i think this method this thing you guys need to read because look if i will write something like a dot compared to b so here if a is compared to a is lexicographically small than b okay if a is lexicographically small i will get negative all uh, output will be in negative okay and if a is lexicographical greater than b then i will get positive so similar thing i want to do ba it should be greater okay ba should be greater than ab if i will do ab dot compared to ba it will return in uh, increasing order but i want to get in decreasing order that's why i am doing ba dot compared to ab okay if you want to read about more i will request if you don't know much about compared to method and uh, yeah let's try to submit it directly and i think it should get accepted there's nothing any rocket science here uh, okay i got one error compare is spelling mistakes okay hmm are there any more distinguishing no all right so if you i think it is getting accepted now so if you have left a solution please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and please share your code into the comments okay everyone who is writing the code who is understanding the problem from this channel please comment your code okay all right so yeah that was it please share your feedback to the comments and i'm going to meet you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye